Hey guys, welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Tamika, and today I feel like being a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> no, well, mm, kinda. I wanna talk about some makeup that I am just not interested in, and then some makeup that is actually grabbing my attention. So pretty much we're doing an anti-haul and a wish list. Should we start with some, some products I'm not interested in? I think, I think we should. So my first complaint today is quite broad and it's about makeup brands collabing with TV shows or products. Like I am just not here for it. Okay, I do have one slight exception. I love the TV show Friends. So I do get excited when I see a makeup brand collabing with Friends, like Makeup Revolution, for example. I was very excited to see that. But everything that got released was shit. Like I didn't like any of it except the mirror. But the makeup I felt like was so unrelated to the characters and the show. So I didn't even buy any of it. And it kind of, like even though that got my attention, it didn't impress me. So seeing so many more of these collabs coming out, I'm just like, why? What triggered me <laughs> for this was that I saw this makeup brand called Spectrum. So I've never actually heard of them. I haven't tried any of their products, so I don't wanna like shit on the brand, but they are doing a Emily in Paris collection. And it's like, why? I watched the first series of that and I just thought it was trash. Like, it just wasn't for me. And I won't be watching the second season, but anyway. It's just like, why? So what they've released is, it's like not even makeup, it's just accessories. <laughs> so we've got some macaron, macaroon sponges, a coffee cup, and some makeup brushes. Like, so then I started having a look through Trend Mood's Instagram and there are so many and it just like angered me for some reason. <laughs> so for example, we've got Wet n Wild and Saved by the Bell. Okay. We've got Hip Dot with a Play-Doh palette, a Monopoly palette, a Ouija board palette. We've got Violet Voss with a Care Bears palette. We've got Hip Dot again with a Rugrats collection. I actually think Hip Dot, like that's their thing though, to release collabs like that. I don't know, but it doesn't interest me. Like they've got these sheet masks with Angelica and Chucky, is it? Their faces on them. That is terrifying. Like I can understand the nostalgia with these products, but I just, there's just so many and I'm over it. And then the product collaborations just gets me even more riled up. So seeing Glam Light collabing with Icy, which I think is like, in Australia, our version would be Slurpee. Why is a makeup brand collabing with a frozen drink? Not for me. Not for me. And then I saw, I actually don't know what the brand is, Taste Beauty? Or are they just hashtagging that? I don't know. But it's a Cheetos Flamin' Hot Lip Scrub. They've also got Pez flavored lip balms and like a Nerds lip balm or something. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't know just my opinion. So from that leads me on to my next subject, which again is a brand collabing with the show. We've got NYX and Money Heist. Now, I have heard a few things about that show. I think it's like pretty popular, but what really got me fired up about this collection is the pricing. Have you seen how much this makeup costs for NYX? Oh my God. We've got the nine pan eyeshadow palette for $57. There is the gold bar highlighter, five grams, five grams for $73. Oh, 
There's a lipstick for $31, an eyeliner for $35, a brush $36, and then the kicker is the 32 pan mask palette for $103 from NYX. I just can't. I, I can't. <laughs> so as a whole, I am just not interested in any brands collabing with TV shows or products, especially for those prices. Okay, onto something that I'm really excited about. ELF is finally releasing their putty bronzers here in Australia. Now on their post on Instagram, it does say only selected shades available, which is annoying. Like just give us all the shades. Why do they do this? It's nice to see more affordable brands coming out with on trend products. So cream bronzers have been all over the place lately. So I'm excited to give this one a go. By the looks of this picture, they've got some nice light cool tone options as well. So I really hope we get them here in Australia. Another one from e.l.f. that I'm really excited to get my hands on is the Brow Lift. So this is an extreme hold clear eyebrow shaping wax. So again, soap brows and these kind of products have really been on trend lately and it's nice to see e.l.f. coming out with an option. So I'm excited to get a little mitts on those two products from e.l.f. <laughs> Some more cream products that look really interesting to me are by M Cosmetics. Now I haven't tried anything from them before. I did go onto the website and have a look, but I think shipping was like pretty expensive. So I don't know. Is there any other way you can get M Cosmetics in Australia or do you have to shop from their website? But they have released some stick cheek products and the bronzer shades look really good. There's a cool tone shade in particular that has just grabbed my attention. There's actually quite a few products from M Cosmetics that I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. So I might have to do a big shot one day, but these bronzer sticks will definitely be on the list and I'll probably just pick up a blush as well because I'm just loving cream blushes at the moment. A liquid product that I am not interested in buying is the Fenty Kilowatt Liquid Highlighters. Now I love the powder version, but the liquid version, I'm just not loving the shade range. So in the pictures, they look beautiful and glossy and bright on the skin, but for the fair shades, there's like the lightest one seems too white. And then the next one is like a pink undertone. And I'm more into a champagne. <laughs> I find that white can look too stark and too bright on fair skin. And then pink, if you don't have a cool undertone, can just, like, it just looks off. So I'm a bit bummed to see that there's not a nice light champagne shade. And for that reason, I'm not interested, which is a real bummer because I love trying out Fenty's products. The brand really interests me as a whole, but it's just not it, it's not it. Another product I am interested in picking up is the new Rimmel Kind and Free range. So they have a foundation, a powder, and a concealer. I'm not so much interested in the concealer because I do prefer more of a full coverage, but the foundation, it's calling my name. So it says it's lightweight, has a breathable formula, and it's perfect for those summer days. So this is a skin tint. Skin tints have been super popular recently. It seems to have a pretty good shade range and Rimmel is always super affordable. I also wanna try the powder from the range. I have loved the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder like ever since I started getting into makeup. So this one looks pretty interesting. It says it gives more of a natural looking coverage. So I'm expecting it to be nice and light. Just set your face without adding any extra or like heavy coverage. It sounds pretty good to me. So I definitely want to pick those two up. Let me know if you guys feel the same way, but I find that new makeup releases just don't grab my attention as much as they used to. I feel like there is just so much out there and I have a pretty decent makeup collection. So I've become more picky with what I'm purchasing and what I want to try. Like you don't need to try everything. Like there's too much. You couldn't possibly try all the new releases, but it just feels like I scroll on trend mood or just through Instagram, seeing new products being released. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like just, it takes 
something special to really grab my attention. And I've always been a drugstore and like affordable makeup lover. So if I'm going to spend money on a high-end product, like it really needs to grab my attention because I know that there's probably a cheaper version out there. All right, well that is all for today's video. Let me know down below what things are on your wish list and your I ain't touching that shit list. <laughs> Anyway, if you aren't already, come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.